NFL legends have come and gone in the league. We've seen legends like Joe Montana, Terry Bradshaw, Walter Payton, and many others have great NFL careers. We have seen in many sports, basketball, football, and baseball, where children try to follow in their father's footsteps. For instance, we have Michael Jordan and his son Marcus Jordan, who was a complete bust in the NBA. In Major League Baseball, we've seen Barry and Bobby Bonds do really well in the major leagues, even though Barry took steroids during his career. Sometimes the children of athletes want to grow up to be just like their fathers and make it as professional athletes. Some achieve that goal, while others just don't make the cut. That brings us to Joe Montana's case. Although Joe is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, today only one quarterback is like Joe Montana, and neither are of his sons. So the question is, how good is Joe Montana's son? Well, join us in this video as we present the scary truth of Nate Montana. Determining how good Nate Montana is calls for a trip down memory lane, and where better to start than his legendary father's career. So, who is Joe Montana? Joseph Clifford Montana is an American former professional football player who was a quarterback in the NFL for 16 seasons with the San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs. You probably know him as Joe Cool or the Comeback Kid. After winning a national championship at Notre Dame, Montana began his NFL career in 1979 at San Francisco, where he played for the next 14 seasons. With the 49ers, Montana started and won four Super Bowls and was the first player to be named the Super Bowl Most Valuable Player three times. Joe also holds Super Bowl career records for most passes without an interception and the all-time highest passer rating of 127.8. In 1986, Montana won the AP NFL Comeback Player of the Year Award. In 1989 and again in 1990, the Associated Press named Montana the NFL MVP, and Sports Illustrated Magazine named Montana the 1990 Sportsman of the Year. Montana was elected to eight Pro Bowls and was voted first team All-Pro by the AP in 1987, 1989, and 1990. In 1993, Montana was traded to the Kansas City Chiefs, where he played for his last two seasons and led the franchise to its first AFC Championship game in January of 1994. Montana was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2000. The 49ers retired Montana's number 16 jersey after the conclusion of his playing career. In 1994, Montana earned a spot on the NFL's 75th anniversary all-time team. He is also a member of the NFL 1980s All-Decade team. In 1999, editors at the Sporting News ranked Montana third on their football's 100 Greatest Players list. Also in 1999, ESPN named Montana the 25th most outstanding athlete of the 20th century. In 2006, Sports Illustrated rated him the number one clutch quarterback of all time. Joe was a great force in the NFL. Check out his career highlights. Noted for his ability to remain calm under pressure, Montana helped his team to 32 fourth quarter come from behind victories. With 58 seconds left in the 1981 NFC Championship game against the Dallas Cowboys, he completed a game-winning touchdown pass so memorable that it would become known simply as the catch. In Super Bowl XXIII against the Cincinnati Bengals, Montana threw another remarkable game-winning touchdown pass at the end of a 92-yard drive with only 36 seconds left on the game clock. During his career with the 49ers, Montana completed 2,929 of 4,600 passes for 35,142 yards with 244 touchdowns and 123 interceptions. He had 35 300-yard passing games, including seven in which he threw for over 400 yards. His career totals, 3,409 completions on 5,391 attempts, 273 touchdowns, 139 interceptions, and 40,551 yards passing. He also rushed for 1,676 yards and 20 touchdowns. When Montana retired, his career passing rating was 92.3, second only to the 49er successor, Steve Young. He has since been surpassed by five other players, ranking his passer rating at seventh all-time. Montana has also won 100 games faster than any other quarterback until surpassed by Tom Brady in 2008. Montana holds postseason records for most games with a passer rating over 100 and is second in career postseason touchdown passes, passing yards, and games with 300-plus passing yards. He also tied Terry Bradshaw's record for consecutive playoff games with at least two touchdown passes, though his record has since been broken by Baltimore Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco. Undefeated in four Super Bowl appearances, Montana completed 83 of 122 passes for 1,142 yards and 11 touchdowns with no interceptions, earning him a Super Bowl record passer rating of 127.8. 
Montana also holds the Super Bowl record for most pass attempts without throwing an interception. He was selected to the Pro Bowl eight times and selected all pro six times. He is also the only player with two touchdown passes of 95 plus yards. Montana also held the record for most passing yards on a Monday night game with 458 against the Los Angeles Rams in 1989. His record as a starter was 117 and 47. His number 16 was retired by the 49ers on December 15, 1997 during halftime of the team's game against the Denver Broncos on Monday night football. Yup. Joe was an absolute legend on the field. But what about Nate? Why is he not in the spotlight like his father? Let's take a look. Nathaniel Joseph Montana was born on October 3rd, 1989. He is a former American football quarterback. Montana, who is at six foot four inches tall, is two inches taller than his dad. Did not play football until he was a freshman in high school, though. Even in high school, Nate struggled to climb to the top of the depth chart. He was the third-string quarterback during his senior season at De La Salle High School in Concord, California. He completed 12 of 19 passes for 166 yards with one touchdown and carried 17 times for 33 yards for the undefeated Spartans during mop-up duty. Nate did not play football during his junior year, opting to focus on basketball after transferring from Cardinal Newman High School in Santa Rosa, California. After graduating from high school in 2008, he enrolled at Notre Dame and joined the Fighting Irish football team's coach, Charlie Weiss, as a walk-on with the hopes of landing a scholarship as a sophomore. Following Montana's freshman year at Notre Dame, he found himself well down the depth chart at quarterback. To increase his playing time, he withdrew from Notre Dame in 2009 and tried out for Mount Sac's football program, but would not be the starting quarterback and later enrolled at Pasadena City College in Southern California as a redshirt freshman. Montana played in five games for Pasadena City College in 2009, completing 31 of 88 passes for 324 yards with two touchdowns and five interceptions as one of the three reserve quarterbacks who saw action for the Lancers that year. Montana re-enrolled at Notre Dame in January 2010. He was the quarterback behind Tommy Reese and Dane Christ. He played in three games for the Fighting Irish as a junior in 2010 and was 9 for 18 for 116 yards with an interception. On February 14, 2011, Montana confirmed he was transferring to the University of Montana, a top FCS program in the Big Sky Conference. As the transfer was from FBS to FCS, he was eligible to play immediately. At Montana, Nate became the only player on the roster with his name on the front and back of his jersey. He transferred to West Virginia Wesleyan, an NCAA Division II program, in May 2012. Montana played in nine games for Montana in 2011, completing 26 of 42 passes for 274 yards with two touchdowns and one interception as the Grizzlies' second-string quarterback. Montana also had a highly publicized off-the-field incident during his time at the Big Sky Conference School. He was arrested and charged with driving under the influence in June 2011. The charge ultimately was reduced to reckless driving. According to Rivals, a network of websites that provides national, regional, and local football recruiting coverage, Montana did not have any scholarship offers. Nevertheless, he decided to walk on at his father's alma mater, despite its collection of top-flight talent at his position. Although Nate got a lot of attention when he followed in his father's footsteps and enrolled at Notre Dame, he never had much impact as a college quarterback. He played only briefly and went through multiple transfers, ultimately finishing his college career at West Virginia Wesleyan. In 2013, Nate played in the NFL Super Regional Combine at Cowboy Stadium. However, an NFL analyst, Bucky Brooks, doubted his chances in the league, saying it's going to be hard for him to transition to the next level. Brooks referred to Nate as a long shot whose arm isn't as strong as his father's. His passes don't have zip. He has difficulty making pro throws. 